phone to talk to Tommy, who is in Glasgow. Tommy, good morning. Hey, boy. How are you doing? Not bad, myself. Yeah, very well. Very well, indeed. So, what do you make of it all, then? Another shameful episode in uh, the history of Scottish football. Before I make comment, could I, could I pass comment on something else? Certainly. Irish-related. Go ahead. Uh, James Conley. James have you heard Conley. of him? I have. Who was he? He was one of your uh, earlier sort of rebel figures, wasn't he? A Protestant Scot. No, oh, was he? Shot in his chair 95 years ago today. Uh-huh. Where? A great crowd gathered outside Old Comenum. With her heads all uncovered, they knelt to the ground. For inside that grim prison lay a, lay a brave Irish soldier, his life for his country about to lay down. Where he was, went to his death where was, with a Where was what? he killed? What were you reading? Comenum. It's, it's the, the tune of James Conley. You know, yeah. God curse on you, England, you cruel hearted monster. Your deeds they would shame all the devils in hell. Well, what? What? It was a, a wonderful Scottish Protestant he was. Well, where was Scottish he? Protestant. Well, where was he shot? He was shot. It was part of the Easter uprising, and on the twelfth of May, having been held in captivity for a week or so, uh, they decided that he, he should be shot, and they had beaten him up uh, so badly that he couldn't stand. So they tied him to a chair, and he faced the firing squad. And this was where, though? This was in Dublin. Right. Okay. 1916. Okay. You know, and then look at all these wonderful Protestant Scots who, uh, from Edinburgh, I think that's where, was that, I may be getting it wrong, but maybe Dundee, but probably as Edinburgh, where James Conley came from. Mm -hmm. You know, and look at these proud Edinburgh Scots, how they treat an Irishman tonight, you know, shocking her. Yeah, well, I suppose the trouble is we don't know. They've arrested some guy for doing it. We don't know whether, one, he's a Hearts fan or where he's from. I mean, I suppose it's possible that he's not. But, I mean, the fact that, apparently, the situation and the atmosphere of the game was being described as pretty poisonous shows that the sectarian problem is not just limited to Celtic and Rangers, doesn't it? The, the, the Celtic fans have a, a name for the Hearts fans. Uh, and it's the Huns without a bus pass. Uh -huh. well, uh, that, they, they, they sing the same songs as Rangers, Hello, Hello. And, uh, well, the last time I was there, I didn't go tonight, but when I was there at the infamous game when they get beat 2-0 uh, in November when Lenny was sent to the stand, mm. quite clearly I, I was told uh, with me and my young daughter to go home, the fam was over. Mm. Obviously, I, I never heard anything tonight. I wasn't really watching it. So why did people say then that the only problem with all of this sectarian nonsense is between Celtic and Rangers, if that's clearly not the case? Who's saying that? That's people who are misguided. That's people who are trying to misrepresent the problem. When and people who say, "Oh, it's sectarianism," or try to, like you have done in the past, say, "Oh, you're as bad as each other," and it's the old firm. There is no old firm PLC. There is Rangers PLC that can sell for a pound, and there is Celtic PLC that's owned by a, a, an Irish billionaire, Dermot Desmond. There is no old firm PLC. They play each other. They're, they're old firm, right? They're old. They're rivals. You know, an old driver, but they're not joined at the hip. They're not conjoined twins. You know, they're separated, and they should be treated as separate entities. And until you, until you know, the establishment here in Scotland and the lap dogs in the media, who and you know, a Rangers' response at the last e episode with UEFA is to shoot the messenger and say, "Oh, there's people out to do us, and there's people inside this organisation called Fair. There's there's 95 percent Catholics in UEFA." and they're all trying to do is up like a kipper. And that comes from the highest part, Martin Bain. Instead of addressing the problem, the sickness, the cancer that is Scotland's shame will always persist because it's been put under the carpet. You have chief executives, ex-chief chief executives saying, oh, we had meetings and they're doing as much as they can. Doing as much as they can, Rangers allow their greenkeepers or the people who do the pitch to, to do it into a nice little sash pattern. They charge sixteen ninety in the restaurant. They banned Eggs Benedict. They buy they banned Pepper Army because it's green. You know, if they can paint the the, the, the whole they, situation they, is mad. But, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on, but don't hold on. No, calm no, down here. No, calm I'm down here. Calm, thank you very much. Calm but the point is, it's think. not just Rangers, it's not just Celtic, it's now Hearts as well. I and, know, hold and, on. And presumably on. Hibs will be sucked into it as well at some point. I've been to a Hibs-Hearts derby, and they were all 
you know, mouthing and foaming at each other and singing horrible songs to each other. It's, the whole thing is ridiculous. So it's a big, big problem, and it's not just about it's, rangers. Well, it's not just about rangers. It's about people where there's over 4 million Protestants in Scotland who dislike, not everyone, and I, I have to hasten to say, not everyone who's a Protestant, uh, are, are anti-Catholic or anti, you know, it's, and before when I was on seeing the discrimination, you know, it's a different discrimination. It's, it might not be as prevalent, you know, instead of barring somebody with a name because there's not too many Seamuses about, but they'll certainly ban an Abdul from working in a place or a taxi company uh, if, if, they, if they're that way inclined. And I know there's many companies in Glasgow who are like that, mm. you know, but then, you know, sticking with the problem, how it's too easy to say that both sides are as bad as each other when Celtic and their fans have never been in a 